Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. What, what company were you going to say? <laughs> no, no, I was because uh, we have different introductions for different things. Do it yourself. I was going to say the the La Zona Beep, and no, it's, this is Lightspeed Spanish. No, this is Today Spanish. we have um, the video cast number fifty for Early Intermediate. Okay. And this is a suggestion from Jeff C. Jeff C. Okay. Hola Jeff. Hola Jeff. And Jeff wants us to talk about the difference between tras, tras, atrás, uh, delante, detrás, de detrás, eh, adelante, adelante, abajo, debajo, dentro, adentro. Okay. okay. I think we've done this before. We have put in ser socio. Ah, okay. Okay. Entonces, Bye. eso es lo que vamos a hacer en inglés. En inglés. En inglés. Okay. Vale, entonces, nos vemos. O no. O no. O mix. A mix. Or mi yeah, mix. We'll do a mix. We'll It'll do a mix. Okay. Only let's, in English. Let's, let's keep it lively. Keep it mixed up. Okay. Entonces, Just no. confuse them enough and then bring so them back so to So they come back. <laughs> That's not what I meant. We'll confuse them what? enough for them to go, what just happened? I need to, I need to watch again. One. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eh, entonces nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, Cynthia, let's start. Let's start with with the the tras, atrás, detrás. Okay. So tras. Tras. For example. Uh, tras de ti o detrás de ti mm -hmm. okay. tras muchos años mm. tras muchos años would be the, the nicer way posher way of saying after yeah after many years yeah. tras muchos años of course you can say después de muchos años which is that would be the common one in spoken conversation mm -hmm. but in books for example you would see Tras, tras muchos años, tras, tras un largo debate, after a yeah. long debate, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And that's probably the most common usage of tras, isn't tras, it? Tras, yeah. Tras this certain thing, you know. Um, but tras esto, after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would that be your first choice when you're chatting just generally? Uh, no, 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 as I said, no, in, in spoken conversation, no. Right. We would say después. Después de... Yes, no. but in books, tras, that yeah. would be the, the translation. A little bit more formal. Yeah. Just a little bit more formal, but it means after. Yeah. And then we've got atrás. But also tras uh, physically means behind. But again, it's a posh way of saying, like more old-fashioned way of saying behind. Yeah. Está tras de ti. It's behind you. Tras de ti. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Or also it could be, he's after you, but, but tras de ti. Is after you. You know, like after could be after following mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or after behind. Yeah. Okay. I don't okay. know if that makes sense or not. Uh, it, ju it just, it's one of the, uh, out of the three, it's the one that's used probably the least atrás. And then we've got atrás. So what's happening with atrás? Atrás. Okay. So atrás would be a uh, movement, movement backwards. For example, muévete hacia atrás. Okay, so move towards back. back we towards would say. back. Move backwards. Okay, yeah. hacia atrás. So when we have the a, it's usually the movement. Atrás, adelante. Yeah, yeah. So and and Cynthia said hacia atrás. Do you know the song? Hacia atrás. The Ricky Martin song. Un dos tres. Un pasito para adelante, María. ¿No? Un, dos, dos tres. tres. Un, un pasito, pasito para atrás. Pa so, atrás. forward and backwards. Mm -hmm. Para atrás, ¿no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The song is called María. Mm -hmm. But I think it really is about cocaine. Ah. It's true. <laughs> that's an extra, extra information there. There you are. There you are, yeah. No, and that, that's what happens. You take cocaine and then you start dancing. Basically, I think that's what the message is. All right, so 
And then detrás. Detrás. So atrás is movement. Okay, so atrás adelante is movement, okay? Uh -huh. So it's like same as afuera, adentro. Outside, inside, but with the movement. Uh -huh. Take it outside, put it inside. Uh -huh. Okay, once is once it's inside or once it's outside, there's no movement, then we don't need the A. Mm -hmm. So the same with this. So if something is already behind, not that it's moving backwards, it's already behind, so we said detrás. Yeah? detrás. And once something is already in front, without movement, it's, it's delante. Ah, yeah. Okay. So, for example, my phone is in front of me. So, el móvil está delante de mí. Um, I'll just say this very quickly. Many, many, many people in the speaking world say delante mío or delante mía. Okay, this is very common. Um, it's not correct, but just for you to be aware that that's what we say a lot. Delante mío, delante mía. But it should be delante de mí. Yeah. Okay, el móvil está delante de mí. So if the phone was behind, or the wall, the wall is behind me. La pared está detrás de mí. Okay. Yeah, because it's not moving. It's not going nowhere. So a little trick is when you do that, when you're using the de, if you're going to add anything onto it, then you're going to need to put another de. Yeah. Delante, delante de, 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 detrás, detrás de. de. Yeah. O está dentro de. Dentro, uh -huh. inside. So, está dentro del bolso. So, imagine I have a handbag here and my phone is inside my handbag. So, el móvil está dentro del bolso. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh -huh. Or if it's outside the, hand, the imaginary handbag, el móvil está fuera del bolso. But if I'm, I'm asking someone or I'm saying I'm putting it inside, pongo el móvil... Adentro. Adentro. So there's a motion again, yeah? With yeah. the A. Uh, to, the, to the inside. Basically, that's what you're saying. To the inside, to the outside, to the front. Yeah? Uh -huh. O oh, voy adentro. I'm going inside. Adentro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so A usually is motion. Okay, that's nice, yeah. Like voy A, I'm going to. So towards, to, A. Yeah? Uh-huh. I voy a voy al aeropuerto. I'm going to the airport. So what would you say if if uh, somebody was just outside? What would you say? Está. Está fuera. Está fuera. Mm -hmm. And if somebody said está fuera, I know mean, we would say that as well because we say anything. But <laughs> um, está fuera because you know because está fuera because of the a. Uh -huh. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know whether it was está You would have said está afuera. But está afuera. Mm -hmm. So the A blends, would blend. Yeah. So we wouldn't know anyway. So it could be, you know. Okay. All right. Like uh, like in English, you have a, a sound that ends and then the word begins with the begins, same sound. Yeah. It makes it like one whole word instead yeah. of two words. Yeah. Exactly. The, the, you know, the biggest problem like that we have with that, for example, is when we say... I should have gone, okay? Actually, I should have went, but... <laughs> but correctly would be, but I, I should, should have, have gone. gone. Correct. So what happens is, first of all, we get the, the um, gone and we make it into a went, all right? And I've heard this in both... No, ways. first of all, you change the have for an of. Well, exactly. And then we say, I should of went. I should of went. I mean, that's classic Northeast... And it's also in the US, I've heard it as well. Yeah, but that, that's not because of a blend of sounds. Well, it is. It's like instead of saying should have, we don't. We say should have. Should have. And it sounds like an of, but it's an apostrophe VE. Yes, yeah? but that's not that one it finishes with the same, like scissors, sisters, sis, sis. Yeah? We talked about this before, haven't we? Well, no, no, well, about this. You told me something that I don't want to know about scissors, sisters, but. It's like it ends with the sound and the, the next yeah, word starts okay, with the yeah, same. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it makes uh -huh. like it sounds like one word. Uh -huh. So you don't know where the cut is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the cut. Exactly. Yeah. Um, like when when in Spanish when you say um, va a haber unos problemas. Claro. So va a haber, exactly. but that's not va how. Haber, va a haber va a haber un problema o va a haber unos problemas. So you don't know if. 
Like, va, es va a haber. But we don't, we don't say va a haber, we say va a haber. And it sounds like, that, like a, just one. Like, esa, it's asa. going to see, yeah. And people would va write, ver. people ver. quite often write yeah. V-A-A and then well, no. V-E-R. Va a haber. Like I said, people write anything and they say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's true but you know you know what I mean because Gordon doesn't understand me but you know what I mean yeah when you have the same sound I do understand you what do you mean they could have could have gone and could have went doesn't uh, could right. have right okay I, I understand but, I, but what I was trying to show was that the sound that we say is not always relating to the letters that we write yes okay that's not what I meant so moving on <laughs> okay going back Going back to something that we can agree on. Um, so, all of the a, atrás, um, uh, adelante, adentro, afuera, all has motion to it, yeah? The yeah, going typically. To. When it's there... I'm not going to say always because no. I have someone saying, well, not in this case. So, so I don't know if in all the cases in the world, mm -hmm. with all the It's just an idea, really, isn't it? Uh, but... Usually, the A is motion. Yeah. And the words that have the de, dentro, de. We have two Detrás de, delante de. de. Yeah. And what was the other one? Oh, uh, and for example, when you ask someone to come in, what do you say? Like when you say, come in. And well, you can say pase uh -huh. or pasa, depending if you use two O's dead. But adelante. Adelante. Adelante, forward. We say forward. Yeah. Adelante. Yeah, very common. Well, it makes sense because A in Spanish is two, isn't it? So you're mm. saying two, two forward, two back, to the inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, in English you would say, come on in or come in, come or, in. Yeah, or we yeah. would say forward. Yeah. Forward. For you, forward for me would be backward. <laughs> But forward, yeah, forward in. Um, okay. A bit weird. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or if I want to push people back, like. Mm, how you say that? Like, imagine the police get back. pushing people. Get back. So we would say atrás. Okay. So that means move back. Yeah, atrás. You wouldn't say detrás because that would be stationary. So atrás. Uh, yeah. I remember once. Let me and because I used to have a total confusion about this. I tell a little story. Can I use this as a fun? You can. Tell a little story. When I was in Mexico, I had um, yes, a friend I love you. called Francisco. <laughs> <It's my fun. laughs> the best. Um, uh, and sorry, Francisco. Maybe, maybe it's because maybe it's because I put my hand here. Somebody said in one in the comments, "I'm just waiting for Gordon to put his hand up Cynthia's bag and work her like a." Yeah. And I think it's because I do this, and I think maybe it yeah. looks like I'm. I'm I think I read up her back, but I don't know. It means like like a ventriloquist doll. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I think that's I think that's yeah, what they were referring the hand, to. The hand is going. It's not going at the back. It's going from no, the, the back open upwards. on a ventriloquist. How many ventriloquist dolls? You have put you it had? like that for God's sake. In the back, in the back, there's two bits of cloth that, cr and you put your hand in the back, not in the bum or anything like that, huh? That wouldn't be allowed. You put it like this, and then you, your hand goes. No, like that. no, no. That's a sock. A Not glove. A sock. That's a glove puppet. Any We're puppet. We're talking about. That you no, buy, like, it's a glove it puppet. Like that's that. a glove puppet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said to him, you, you, could, you could tell by my face if you did that to me. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. No, but a ventriloquist doll, are you entering by the back, through Ent the spine. Entering, okay. Yeah? Okay, I was telling the story. So I was in Mexico. I had a friend who was Spanish from Murcia, Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? And we were walking to a bar one night. Is that a joke? No, 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 this is no. This is, no walked into we were walking to a bar. We didn't walk into a bar. We, we, we walked into a bar and then we walked into a bar. <laughs> We walked. We were walking to a bar. He was there with his with his girlfriend. Yeah. And he was pumping as we walked along. No right? way. He was Francisco. walking and pumping, and Francisco, I said, "Francisco, really bad." Francisco, Francisco, and he said, "No te preocupes, está para atrás, no, okay." And and I couldn't get my head around what he was <laughs> what he was saying. What does that mean? It's it's. It's only basically just saying what? It's, it's, it's going back. It's back. It's going, <laughs> going that way with movement. The atrás. He used. Con la propulsión, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> And he was going a little bit faster. Oh, my yeah. God. Rocket. 
rocket yeah, power. The problem is that then it stays uh, where it is, stationary, and then people just walk into walk it. Walk into the cloud, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bloody drains. That's what we are. We, we blame the drains in Spain whenever that happens. The dog. Oh. No, or the, the drains. You, yeah, you blame the dogs here. Yeah. The dog, yeah, or the Douglas, drains. Douglas, Douglas, yeah. what have you done? Douglas is not even in the room. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a drain in sight. The drains around The dogs, here. the kids. Yeah. The kids is good one for one. <laughs> okay, there we are. <laughs> but he couldn't blame anyone that day that he was in the living room. That that we there was no <laughs> no one there. <laughs> could that honey? Could it? Could it? No, no. It's all right, you just good it. <laughs> no, I'll tell the story because I don't think our main public has, has heard that story. I'll tell the story. You don't have to. We've it seen it. A, We've seen joke. this on so uh, many. Oh, but I did tell it on on Gordon's Diaries, but I'll tell you anyway. We've seen this on so many like uh, comedy sketches or whatever. Okay, oh my but God. this is. I was standing in the kitchen, and I was listening to some music, and I was thoroughly enjoying the music. <laughs> my family were over watching the TV and I realised that I, need, <laughs> I needed to relieve Should myself more, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to relieve myself of some gas okay but the music was so loud I thought I'll, no problem nobody will hear anything so I let rip okay the problem was I was listening on headphones <laughs> And I didn't realise I was listening on headphones. And so I let rip. The next thing. Oh, every, everybody. Oh, no. Cynthia, Sebastian, all turned around and went. Even the dogs went, what the? Honestly, it was so loud. It was incredible. It was like. And then he just he was just standing looking at us like. We were like, excuse me. But it, I mean, when it, you it, honestly, I was it. so embarrassed. <laughs> but it was because the, the music so was funny. so loud, and I thought, hey, nobody will hear anything. Well, even with the music that loud, <laughs> we would have heard because that was a monstrosity, hon. It was like so loud. I, mm. I don't want to reproduce it because. But no, you know, I think imagine, everybody can imagine. imagine. I don't think you need to reproduce <laughs> the sound, Cynthia. I think everybody's fully aware of what that might sound like. No? Okay, uh, so before uh, we go, now that we've sold you Lightspeed Spanish. So what, what was this? Oh, atrás and detrás. Yeah, now that we've yeah. sold you, you know, Lightspeed Spanish oh my God. Uh, as a professional organization. Yeah, very, very professional. Yeah. Uh, a word from our sponsor. Oh. What we've been talking about in this lesson is prepositions, okay? Now, obviously, that's not all the prepositions that there are. There are many, many, many. But what we've done in this book is we've, we've covered the key ones and the prepositions that go with the verbs. This book really is all about helping you to understand the verb and the preposition because that's quite a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. In 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 any language, it's a challenge. Okay, so in this book you can polish up your prepositions. Eh? Yeah. Sounds nice, polish eh? Up your polish up your present, yeah. Well yeah. done. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the information's down in the uh, in the in the doings. Oh, and information is down in... Oh, yeah. Down in the dunes. I, eh, eh, it's, eh, I mean, eh, eh. look, the, po the poetry's just coming out of me. It's just... It's just <laughs> seeping it's out just of flowing. me. It's flowing. It is. It's flowing. Flowing like, like never before. Muy bien, Gordon. Muy bien, Cintia. <laughs> vale, Cintia, muchas gracias por ayudarnos con esto. Eh, y, un placer. Vale, y luego nos vamos. Y nos vemos. ¡Hasta luego! ¡Adiós!